Why did you decide to even think or look for another network and bringing you and your son in? You, you pretty much, you already had the experience. Uh, I had some experience. My, I was talking with my accountant and he said, Glenn, you know what, as much work as you're doing not for profit, you need to find a way to begin making money with all the skills and experience that you have. So uh, again, I, my, my, my area of expertise was a general contractor, but I knew very little about real estate investment, almost nothing. It opened up a world of opportunity that, again, I never could have imagined. Uh, do you mind share with us, how much money have you made since you became an investor? So we made quite a bit of money, six figures, and the first number is not one. <laughs> okay, wow, mm -hmm. thanks for sharing. Um, yeah. I think we, we got it. Both my husband and I, we worked in corporate America. We worked in a cube and a building and air conditioning for 10 hours every single day. So it did give us that feel good feeling of, you know, the first purchase that we made, and I'm embarrassed to say this today, but we bought a, a trailer so that we could haul stuff to the dump. When my husband and I were first dating, we would go on dump dates. And I married him anyway, you know? <laughs> I mean, but I mean, think about it. It's like we were doing all of these things ourselves when instead of us, tr you know, taking trash out of a, a hoarder house, we should have paid some kid who needed the money and then been working on doing what? Finding another deal. And someone once told me like, you're just bougie. Oh, well, that's just what rich people say. You know, literally I had somebody tell me that until what? Until they became bougie and rich. And guess what they did? They did exactly, they stopped doing the things that I stopped doing as well.